love that intro. I mean, it's just so catchy. I mean, it's not like the Gypsy Kings or anything, but it does help get in the mood for some Azure Blob storage and Apache Kafka. In today's big time TV show, or screencast, but big time TV show sounds so much better. In big time TV show, today we're going to be reading data from Kafka and writing it out to Blob Storage. And then we're going to be reading from Blob Storage back into Kafka. We'll do a couple of different formats. And we're going to use the Kafka Connect framework. We're going to use the Kafka, a couple of Kafka, easy for me to say, a couple of Kafka connectors for Blob Storage, Sync, and Source. This big time TV show is meant to be accompanied by a page that lists out all the commands that I'm going to be running here today and then some. It's also going to show how to set up Azure so you can run through these examples as well. It has sample files or links to sample files in the GitHub repo so you can take these sample files, make a few modifications for your environment and it should be easy. It should be ready to go and then after you have a working exa example, you can make it complicated. But today, it's catchy easy, folks. We're going to move right along. So as you see here, we have got Confluent up and running. If I switch tabs, I am going to switch tabs. Uh, I changed my shortcuts recently. And then I'm going to run a command here to list out the current files in the Azure Blob Storage container. You'll see I'm using an account key here or an, or an environment variable. I'm not going to list my account key here for you all. It's not that I don't like you. It's just that I don't trust you, okay? So I'm not gonna show you my key and that's not up for debate. So what happens when I run this is that it's empty. Okay, so live demo here now, right? We've got Confluent, Apache Kafka running, um, and we've got nothing in Azure. So we need to get some data into Kafka. Let's do the ksql data gen example. Check out, if this is new to you, check out the Kafka test data example screencast or big time TV show to learn more. This is gonna load some data into Kafka in Avro format in the orders topic, okay? Next, um, we need to start up our sync connector. So I'm not gonna look at the properties file just yet. I'm just gonna run this command to load it up. And this properties file here is the one available in GitCom. So if we run this, we should see that it starts up. And now, drum roll please, if we actually go back to the blob list again, we should see that it's starting to have some arrow files. So yes, it's working. First part of the demo is working. Now let's make this demo a little bit more interesting as well by unloading it. Again, the commands are on that page. I'll put the link everywhere I can so you can go to it and you can see all the commands that I'm running here now. If we look at this, the properties file, you can see that we are outporting in this, sec in this section, whoa, a fancy pointer is acting up so that we use the orders topic and we were interested in Avro. Now let's let's do some JSON action. So this is all teed up for us just to uncomment. We'll save that and if we start it back up there won't be any JSON data for us. So let's let's generate some JSON data. We'll do that with the confluent command line calling data gen page views. Again, this is all in that Kafka test data example in the other sh other uh, other screencast and there's a there's a page with it as well. So we've got some test data in Kafka now. Let's just make sure we're running that. Yeah, so Kafka cat, we're just spinning out events. Now, if we load that sync back up again, where is that handy command? History, history, history. There it is. Let's load that back up. And now when we run the LS or the list on this blob storage, we should see a lot more. We'll have the Avro and now these JSON examples as well. So cool. We just wrote two different types of formats to Azure blob storage, Avro and JSON. Um, went pretty quickly. So 
the examples, all the commands that I ran are on that page. Go check it out. Next part of the video TV show is we're going to be reading that data from Blob Storage back into Kafka. So stay tuned. That's coming up next. Okay, cool. So now that we've ran the sync examples, let's run the source examples. Now you'd think the source examples would be pretty straightforward, but they're not depending on what time you're watching this TV show. So make sure you're looking at the post that accompanied this video if you're looking at it in spring of 2020. Crazy times out there, uh, spring 2020 in the world, but we're doing our best to cope. One way to help cope is videos like this. Anyhow, I digress. Source. I'm going to read from Azure Blob Storage. Write that in the Kafka. I have started up brand new fresh because I went through the workaround steps. And we will see that when we list the topics, this is going to show fresh as well. There is no topics. Now, if we start the source connector up here, we'll see now that we've got some topics here. We've got the orders coming through. So it worked, and, and that's kind of cool. Um, we can take a look at that orders if you'd like. We can see that it's actually, you know, there's there's real orders there. But why I th why they call that out is actually being interesting to work is that if we look into, actually, let's do this. Um, let's do this. Remember in the first part of the example, the sync example, we wrote both Avro files and JSON files. Those JSON files are still there, and yet. When we looked at the topics, we just saw that orders topic. Now, why did that happen? Well, if we look at the source, we can see, this is the source properties file also available in the GitHub repo. We're specifying that the class we want is just Avro. So this connector is smart enough to just pick up the Avro um, files or the objects there that are formatted in the Avro format. So that's kind of cool. That's how we're not getting the, the JSON. Also, while we're here, let's just cover um, the scenario where the orders topic actually did exist. And maybe you wanted to hydrate some additional data from Azure into that orders um, topic. And maybe that orders topic was having a sync. So you can see here that it would be sort of never ending if a sync was writing out to Azure Blob Storage and we had a source connector writing back into that same topic, it would be uh, sort of uh, infinite, wouldn't it? Um, so we don't want to do that. If the orders topic in this example already existed and we wanted to run through the scenario that I was talking about, what you can do is add this transformer here. It's in the properties file and all it does is it takes each particular event that's coming in and rather than putting it in the default topic according to the structure of the object store like whether it's topics order and then a particular partition it will change that from t the topic orders to as you can see your copy of so this is using a, a single message transform an SMT um, and if you run into that scenario, that's what you would do. So that's it. We just saw a source example reading from Blob Storage back into Kafka. Hopefully this helps. Let me know if you've got any comments, questions, concerns, anything at all. Be happy to hear from you. So hope you're doing great in these interesting times. And um, I hope everyone's well with everyone. Yeah, getting a little cheesy now. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.